Hi, it's Dougie Wood, and in this continuation of the Microsoft Teams Tips series, today we're going to be talking about the attach a file inside of a Microsoft Teams conversation. Now, there's a couple of different ways of going about this, so let's jump in and take a look. Now, the first way that you can go about doing this is by inside of your Teams conversation, we can click on, say, for example, a new conversation or apply to an existing conversation, and then click on this pay-per-click icon down here. Now, this is the attachment button. You've got a few options here. So you can either upload from my computer, which is basically where you've got a file that lives on your computer and you're going to upload it directly to Teams to be able to share it with your team members. However, this way it's very kind of like um, unorganized because it's just going to upload it straight into the Teams without any sort of folder structures. You've got OneDrive, which is your own sort of work or organizational OneDrive account where you might have been working on documents in isolation and now you're ready to move them across into your team space. You've got the option to browse teams and channels. Now this will show us files and folders which exist inside of our team already. So we're gonna take a look at a moment at uploading a file into those areas. We've then got the recent. Uh, now when you click on recent, this will show you any documents you've been recently working on uh, within your kind of uh, team area. Now again, um, when you click on this, you could be very careful not to click on upload a copy because that will actually duplicate the document. You should must always click on the share a link so that you're sharing a link to where that document actually exists. So let's go and upload a document first into our files area to then link this back into a conversation. So when I click on files, this is going to show me all the files and folders that I have already inside of my team. So I can see any Word documents, Excel, things like that. Now I can upload a new document by clicking on this upload button and then files and then select my invoice and this will then upload that invoice document that I want to share with my team. Now I can also create additional folders as well so if I wanted to organize this a bit better I could for example select on new and then folder and then give my folder name so I could maybe call this my invoices folder and I could either choose to go into this invoices folder and upload directly into this folder or if I've already got documents uploaded, I can select it and click on move to, and then select the folder that I want to move it to. In this case, it's invoices. Click on move here. And I'll then move that into my invoices folder. So now the two ways I could actually share this now with my team would be the first way would go back into my post conversation area, create a new conversation, and maybe I'm going to give the subject as new invoice. I'm going to tag my team. Remember, if you use the at symbol, then type in the name of the team that you're working with, which is in this case Project X. Um, that will get the attention of the whole team. If you've not seen my video about alerts and notifications, go and take a look at that. I'm explain all about these kind of tags and, and how you can kind of get people's attention. And then we will say, um, please take a look at this new invoice. So we're just letting our team know we've got a new invoice. So we can click on the attach button. Then we can click on browse teams and channels. And then into our invoices folder, we can find that invoice one, two, three, four. We can select that, then click on share a link. And then we've got a link then shared to our conversations. So all we need now to do is post this. Now, all of our team members will get that notification because they're tagged. And then click on that and open up that document directly inside of Microsoft Teams. So you notice we've not left Microsoft Teams. We've still got the same navigation bars across the top and the left-hand side. But we can view that document inside of here. So that's the first way we can do it, is actually from the conversation. The other way we could actually share this with our team is by clicking on files, and then within here, you'll see that, say for example, I'm gonna pick this other invoice now. So if I click into this invoice, um, I can actually create a conversation directly from the document as well. So from this invoice, I'm gonna click on conversation, which is gonna pop out a little box on the right-hand side. You can see I've actually already started a conversation uh, about this invoice on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to say tag in uh, a colleague. Please take a look at this invoice again. And actually, if I hadn't had a conversation started already, this would start a brand new conversation for me because I've already created this conversation previously. It's just going to up update the conversation I've already created. So if I close out of this document, go back into post, you'll now see that the, that particular invoice that um, is a, already a conversation, it's pushed it to the bottom. As I say, if that conversation hadn't already started, it would have attached that document to a brand new conversation for me at the bottom. 
So these are two ways we can either go about it from the, the, the posts face, so we can actually create the new conversations, the, so the posts tab uh, and attach it, or we can go through the files, open up the files and create a conversation from that. So it will end up with the same result, that we end up with a conversation with a file attached to it. Well, technically it's a shared link um, rather than an attachment, but those are the two ways that we can share that with our colleagues. I hope you enjoyed that video all about how you attach a file in a Teams conversation. Um, if you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe to our channel and check out our playlist for all the other really useful Microsoft Teams training tips.